Hello, welcome to Literary Life. Today I'm going to be doing my book review of The Ice Beneath Her by Camilla Grebe. Um, this was a book that I received in my Thrill Seeker box from Bookcase Club um, this month and um, had not heard of the book before, had not heard of the author before. Uh, and what was really interesting is she was actually, she lives in Sweden, um, but she's a celeb she's written five crime novels, um, and two of them were nominated for the best Swedish crime novel of the year. And she's co-authored a Moscow Noir trilogy, um, but this is her first, this book is her first American debut. I loved this book, like five-starred it, which for me to do, especially with a thriller genre, is rare. But, um, and I immediately went to Goodreads, looked her up, and put her other books on my to-read list because not only did I love the plot line, which I'll get to in a second, but I just loved the way she told the story, she let it unfold, and I loved her characters. Um, and I don't mean that I loved them like they were likable. It's definitely a love-hate. They were all flawed, but I think she did just a marvelous job at creating characters that didn't put you off the story but that drew you into the story, even if you didn't necessarily like them or like what you were doing. And I just found this book absolutely captivating and did not want to put it down. Um, so she is now an author that I am keeping my eye on and I'm definitely going to read. Um, the story itself is about a CEO of a, a clothing, like a franchise company that um, goes missing. And at the time that he goes missing, a beheaded um, woman's body is found in his home. And so the story kind of jumps back and forth between that point in time um, and the CEO kind of has like a bad boy reputation and the cops are looking for him and the cops that are investigating his disappearance, um, they call in a uh, profiler um, who she's worked with them in the past and um, to help them with this, uh, with this case. So it jumps between that set setting and then a woman who works for the clothing company as um, I just I think an employee in one of the stores who um, had a relationship with the CEO um, and he suddenly ended it not even he didn't even really end it he just up and pulled away from her disappeared um, like a week or so before or a couple weeks before his his full on disappearance so simultaneously she's trying to understand, figure out what happened to him. And so you kind of jump back and forth between her knowledge, her way of knowing him, and then the police investigation of him. And then, you know, it all kind of comes together in the end. And it is just brilliantly done. And I absolutely, absolutely loved it. And it was one of those books where, you know, even if I had ideas and some of them panned out, like it wasn't, easy to put together. You definitely get taken along on a really fun ride. And it was just, it, it just was a, a good, good, good thriller. So if you are a fan of the thriller genre, get this one on your TBR shelf, like soon, I would say. Um, and if you're not, this is one to try, I think, because to me, this was a really, um, just, it's just well, well done. Five star book for me, which again, like I said, with thrillers, I don't do a lot. Um, so yeah, I was, I was happy to, happy to give it that one. And I will definitely be reading a more of Camilla Bree. Well, well done. Very good author. But other than that, um, if you've read it or you have questions, feel free to post questions or comments below. Just no spoilers, please. And, um, I'll be happy to talk. I'd love to talk to people about the books and, um, don't have a book club for this one. But anyway, um, this is definitely a high one. So definitely check it out, but happy reading.